Now with a story you'll see only on CBS4, community still hurting following the death of a 17-year-old who impacted so many people's lives. Riley Whitelaw was killed this summer working at a Walgreens in Colorado Springs. Prosecutors say her co-worker, 28-year-old Joshua Johnson, stabbed her to death in the break room while the store was open. Johnson now in jail without bond. Police say Riley had complained to the management about Johnson before, asking to work different shifts than he was, but she was allegedly made to work with him anyway. Tonight, CBS4 investigator Katie Weiss talking exclusively with Riley's mom. She was so proud of her daughter. Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt about that. Riley Whitelaw was a compassionate, driven, and positive person. Her mom wants her to be remembered as the inspiration that she was to her community, not by how she was taken from it. So tonight, we're giving you a personal look at Riley's life, and we hope to honor her memory with this story. That's little Riley. This is 17-year-old Riley Whitelaw. Her mother, Courtney, tells me she was a straight-A student in all subjects, interested in studying genetics in college. She was also artistic. She loved to draw, play guitar, and danced in the color guard for her school's marching band, even selected to be the team's co-captain this year. Anything Riley ever has taken on, she's always got both feet in. But her mom says above all that, she was caring. Riley was a kind, loving, empathetic human being. And I've told her classmates, please carry that forward um, in honor of her and that we need more Rileys in the world. Riley was going to be a senior this year at Air Academy High School in Colorado Springs. She had been working a part-time job at this Walgreens for almost a year and a half when her vibrant life was cut short on June 11th. Her body discovered by management in the store's break room. And I hope Riley gets justice. She deserves that. I just want her back and I don't get her back. And you never plan on burying your child. And so it's hard because you feel like you're just reliving it. Like I feel like I'm in Groundhog's Day a lot. Since that tragic day, Courtney has received several letters from her daughter's customers and community members she's never even met, telling her what an impact Riley made in their lives. I've gotten letters from customers that maybe just had a brief encounter, but a meaningful encounter with Riley. I even had a woman that had a painting. The proceeds that she made from the painting, she donated it to the Bemis Art School in Riley's honor. And then she brought me like a print of it. And she just said, your daughter really touched me. You know, and I just had that one conversation with her. Sounds like she touched so many lives. Yeah. You know, and as a parent, like, I'm proud of that. Because um, how many 17-year-olds have that much of an imprint on people this early? Riley's also left a mark for her mother, with one of Riley's drawings meaning so much more now than her mom ever imagined. Riley was determined to have a tattoo and for two years she kept asking and I kept saying no and she came to me one night and said how about we get a tattoo together and she had drawn it and this is what it was and we did this in December and it's kind of her gift for me forever. Now Riley's family is setting up a scholarship fund in her memory with the goal of someone in her graduating class to be the first recipient. I get up and out of bed because Riley would expect it of me. And so every breath I take is very much for Riley and trying to make her proud and trying to make sure that she's not forgotten in all of this and that she made an impact and will continue to make an impact. Now, Walgreens sent us a written statement that says they are, quote, deeply saddened and horrified by this crime, and they are conducting a thorough internal review and s supporting team members during this difficult time. Jim? Oh, boy, and you just told me that that was Riley playing the guitar we heard at the end of the Yes, oh. so that music in the package that you just heard, that yeah. was actually Riley playing. Oh, boy. So tell me some of the other ways the communities, we see the letters, of condolence. What about other ways the community is remembering? Absolutely. Well, Riley loved to walk and spend time outside, and she even volunteered at the Humane Society Walking Dogs. So her neighborhood is actually installing a bench in her neighborhood in her name, so that way other people can go and relax outside as well. And certainly her spirit will live on, I would guess, in the scholarship fund. Oh, absolutely. Uh, her family has officially created a nonprofit. They're calling it the Riley I. Whitelaw Memorial Scholarship Fund. And if you'd like to make a 
tax-deductible donation, you can. We put a link to it on our website. That's cbscolorado.com. She was an only child. Yes, she was. A really hard on her mom. Oh, boy, you can tell on all of us. Yeah. Thanks.